Homosexuals are doomed to spend eternity in hell. If they wanted to change, they could be healed of their evil ways. If they would turn away from temptation, they could be normal again. If only they would try and try harder if it doesn't work. These are all the things I said to my son Bobby when I found out he was gay. When he told me he was homosexual, my world fell apart. I did everything I could to cure him of his sickness. Eight months ago, my son jumped off a bridge and killed himself. I deeply regret my lack of knowledge about gay and lesbian people. I see that everything I was taught and told was bigotry and dehumanizing slander. If I had investigated beyond what I was told, if I had just listened to my son, when he poured his heart out to me, I would not be standing here today with you filled with regret. I believe that God was pleased with Bobby's kind and loving spirit. In God's eyes, kindness and love are what it's all about. I didn't know that each time I echoed eternal damnation for gay people, each time I referred to Bobby as sick and perverted and a danger to our children, his self-esteem his sense of worth were being destroyed. And finally, his spirit broke beyond repair. The GLAAD Media Award for Outstanding TV Movie or Miniseries goes to Prayers for Bobby. As oh my goodness. Um, wow, I'll just put that down. Uh, Oh my goodness, um, thank you so much. You know, um, these guys are the real heroes, Chris Taff and Daniel Sladek and David Permit, who's not here tonight, spent 13 years trying to find a home for this movie to be made. They're the real heroes tonight for that. So, um, I just want to say, um, how honored I am uh, and have been to be part of Prayers for Bobby uh, to tell Mary Griffith's story. Um, she was so generous to me, really speaking to me so plainly, uh, mother to mother, about the mistakes she'd made. And it was such a great honor to be involved in her book with the great late Leroy Ahrens, um, and uh, such an honor for all of us to be a part of it. And I just want to say, I love you. You are on the front lines fighting for our common humanity, which is the glory of all of us being who we are. And thank you so much for honoring prayers for Bobby. Thank you very much. I'm Daniel Slotik. This is Damon Ginchowski, Chris Taff. Uh, not with us tonight, our, our partner, Chris and I, uh, uh, started this journey 13 years ago when Chris walked into a different light bookstore in Los Angeles and found Leroy Aaron's landmark book, A Prayers for Bobby, sitting on the new release shelf and picked it up, and, and that was the, the key that started the engine to this incredible journey. As Sigourney mentioned, we went through 13 years of so many false starts, uh, network turnaround, uh, financiers, all kinds of activity on this project, and ultimately, boy, did we get lucky because we got this movie made, and there was no one other than Sigourney Weaver who could have portrayed Mary Griffith's life story as brilliantly as she did. So, to Sigourney, we are incredibly grateful. Uh, Mary Griffith and her husband, Bob, and their three children met us in Leroy Aaron's backyard 13 years ago on a surprise visit to go meet the author of the book. And uh, Chris and I walked in to go meet the author and met the family, and it was one of those aha moments where you just recognize that you were in for something that was going to be truly life-affirming and life-changing. And uh, to say that this has been an unbelievable journey is, is uh, it goes without words. Ultimately, um, we thank you, we thank GLAD, we thank the community for embracing this film, and uh, we could not have done it without the support of, of so many people involved. Katie Ford, our screenwriter who jumped on board, day one when we offered the, the uh, film to her and she stayed with us for 13 years and uh, our financiers, our production team, everyone on it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, our director Russell, this is Damien, our producer.
I just want to mention really quickly that we'd also very much like to thank Lifetime Television, Andrea Wong, Joanne Alfano, Stephen Bolka, Tanya Lopez, our other producing partner, Once Upon a Time Films, Stanley and Brooks, who couldn't be here tonight, and our amazingly talented director, Russell Mulcahy, who uh, brought this to the screen. Thank you. And I just want to add our wonderful cast and the state of Michigan, but particularly Ryan Kelly, who played Bobby, without whom I could never have played Mary, and the amazing Dan Butler. The first week, of course, I had whole, all my huge breakdown scenes, and Dan was just a rock, and thank you so much, so thank you. Thank you.